Glanimede Castle, stronghold of Lord Balsef, self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. And next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. Be careful. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. It's almost too easy. Don't fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, all right? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. Stone. I sense a strange power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I've barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Normally, we should take turns standing guard, but this first time, I'll watch over things so you two can rest easy. 
I've never just sat and watched a fire like this before. It's surprisingly soothing. Well, aren't you getting comfortable? You realize there are still Zoogles prowling around out here, right? Ah, don't be a spoil sport. It's important to let your mind and spirit relax. Does you a lot more good than you might think. <sighs> Zephyr, why aren't you concerned about who I am? You feeling left out, son? No, it's not that. But... You said you wanted to fight so that you can live a free man. At this point, that's all that matters. Even if it somehow turned out you were a Renin, it wouldn't be such a big deal. A Renin? Until we know who you are, we can't rule anything out. Besides, we've already got Xion with us. At this point, what's one more Renin as long as they're on our side? So you don't see every Renin as an enemy? Our goal isn't to hunt down and kill all Renins. We only arm ourselves as much as we need to, to set ourselves free. If you can believe it, not every Danon agrees with what we're doing either. Are you saying we have enemies among the Danons? Uh, not quite. They're just not up for rebelling, per se. The thing you have to remember is that everyone has their own path to walk. I'm not sure I understand. That's okay. Just focus on what we have to do right now. However, the time will come when you'll need to decide what to do for yourself. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit course, right? But... Your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I... don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am. But I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul-searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr. It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <laughs> You're not gonna ask me about my past too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you.
So, this whole you not feeling pain thing, is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? No, it's just... you know, I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Ren and soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. I may be numb to pain, but that doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. A Master Corps, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me. You ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the Master Cores are the receptacles in which the Lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time?! Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Corps? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Corps astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the Lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. 
As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. tell you it's rude to stare? I know I already asked you this, but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? <sighs> What's so hard to understand? I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenigus. Trust me, wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenigus? You mean the same Lenigus that's up in the sky? I've heard it called the Renan's Castle, but I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. We should be able to eat this. Whenever you find some, make sure to grab it. It's edible, huh? Good to know. Definitely. Could this be?
What a lovely view. That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. Almost made it to Ulzebek. What could this be? Well, that was humbling. What could this be? I don't pick Take up the it. weak. One more. It's not going to play. Slide. Here, I'm let's go. Why'd you hear me? To stop you dying? Oh, right. no, it's over. Slide. Here's a healing arm. Burn You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. That's an unusual bird. It's an owl. They're often used as a symbol to represent ancient Dana.
Okay, people, this is it. Ulzebek. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renins aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. Should this really be here? like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads.
Zephyr, you made it! See? I told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head to head with Balsef. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is. We've all been waiting for this day for far too long. Leave the plan to me. In the meantime... Yeah, you two need to do something about your outfits. I have just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? Ta-da! I told you, it fits like a dream. I'm afraid we don't have any Renan clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped. Nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details on what needs doing. And thanks in advance. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. <sighs> Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, he'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. Your 
You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next Sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do, and I'll do whatever it takes and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Are you just going to keep standing around or what? Sorry, I'm just getting prepped over here. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. Hey. Yes! <sighs> hmm. I guess. Got it. I had no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renans.
What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on. Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. <laughs> Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure Arenin wouldn't steal it. <sighs> so even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody <sighs> would come for it? I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will and see it through to the end. Then we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. So this is what it means to fight the Renes. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm gonna die one way or another, I'd rather go down fighting. Great, now I'm hurt and dirty. Hmm. 